Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at the workaround which you can perform to make sure that you can use Flight Simulator on the Xbox again. Again, it's not an official workaround. It's also not guaranteed that it works, but in my case, it worked. The reason this workaround might be required to be applied to your system is because World of number nine caused some issues, and mainly it, look, it looks like that Xbox users are affected which will result in multiple crashes to the desktop, in this case the uh, Xbox dashboard, but also issues where you will see how they, it, it, you can fly, but it crashes. Well, the issue I had was that it was continuously crashing, right? It loaded, then it crashed directly. So this is what I did, right? So I went to the uh, manage games and add-ons, and inside the games and add-ons, you've got the save data. The save data contains your user profile, which is the saved games, etc. But you also have to reserve the space. So what you can do is you can remove this piece. You can clear the reserved space. And once you've done that, you can start Flight Simulator. If you're lucky, Flight Simulator starts. However, when it has started, it will not have any additional updates installed. So what it will st first do, it will first make sure that some uh, required updates are installed. The good thing between brackets, however, is that all world updates are also removed if you do perform this step, which means that also the uh, world update number nine uh, will not be available, and then at least you can start flying around again, right? So let's give it some time to start, and then I will show you which other steps you need to do. So we're gonna press OK to continue, then it will start. Uh, Continuing to load. So if you're okay, if you want to react right on via comments, you're free to do so. Um, be aware I'm not working for us Sobo, so I can't help you fixing that, those issues. Simply report them back via the official channels of Asobo. Uh, in addition to that, right, it's not 100% guaranteed that this workaround works for you. Uh, this is still hover in place, right? The world update improvements. Uh, the additional things but these are just the screenshots this is not the real content so don't worry about this so normally it will take a few minutes before it's loaded and then you will see the pop-up directly being shown that the uh, that will start updating so let me pause the recording and continue the recording uh, until it has been uh, say progressed although progression goes really fast as we speak so maybe I should leave it a little bit longer. For those who don't want to wait, I've put some time slots below the video so you can easily skip to the part where we are going to continue, uh, I'd say, performing the steps which are required after you removed all the add-ons, because that's what you technically did, right? So if you installed, uh, for example, uh, aircraft, etc., bought them via the marketplace, all that content will be gone and you need to reinstall it. So if you have a bandwidth cap, then be aware of that, that you need to probably download several gigabytes again, unfortunately. So here it is. And what you see that directly on the top, it will show, hey, download has been started. That initially made me also think, okay, hey, that's would say not that good because that will also probably install the world update. But if you go to the profile, and then go to the content manager, you will figure out that uh, it's installing uh, this one. It's a premium upgrade in my case, and also the deluxe upgrade, those will be installed. Uh, the other ones are shown as not installed, which is good because they won't be installed automatically. Uh, so what can you do if you still want to have the uh, world update content? Well, then you can install everything, except of course the latest world update, uh, which is over here. Don't install this one until Asobo and Microsoft came with a fix for this. Uh, this download will probably take some time, so I'm not going to show you that it really works, but believe me, it works. You can start flying. It's not guaranteed that it resolves all the issues you are experiencing on the Xbox, but at least you can uh, use Flight Simulator again. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.